So up to now, we've uh, not really been able to move around the scene very much. We've had to rely on going in and dragging our camera object here and there, but we know there's more that you can do in a game. And that is with the use of first and third person controller objects. Now a first person controller is like, well, you're looking through the eyes of the character that's walking around. That's, uh, that's fine, and that's what we're going to do first because it's a little less com complicated. But then there's also third person. And third person is a little more uh, common in uh, games these days. That's where you're kind of standing behind the main character and seeing their back and the back of the head and, uh, and walking around sort of shadowing them. And that uh, we'll talk about that also. That's another thing we can do fairly simply in Unity. But first, we're just going to set up a first-person camera. So here we go. So the first thing, of course, is to launch Unity, which we'll do from the shortcut here. And as long as you have not opened any other projects in the meantime, it's going to come up to right where we left off. So here we are with our landscape. And we're going to come up to Assets. Import Package, Character Controller. And there it is, a lot of things, all uh, selected by default. And we just want to import. And it just takes a second. And there we go. And there it is, Character Controllers. So let's go to our Scene View. And we're going to open Character Controllers. And there's our third person and first person. Take the first person, drag it into the scene. Now you notice the icon is a camera. If we open this up, we have graphics and we have main camera. And we have this other main camera. Well, we don't need both of them, so just delete that one. There's that. So there it is, it's a main camera. Now if we open this up and we select the camera, there it is, there we've got our camera preview window. So open up your first person controller if you need to. But if you just, if it's open already, just click on main camera, and there it is. There's our camera preview, works from this camera just as well. So let's click and run this and see what happens. And, okay, if you look, there's our landscape. We're actually below the landscape. The first person controller has gravity. And it actually, if you look at the uh, position, whatever position is, it came in just below ground level. So raise it up a little bit, run it again, and boom. There, now we're a little above ground level. You see it's 96 point something. So let's set this to 97. Try it again, and boom. There, we're about right. You know, you can, you can get real detailed with this if you want. Not really that necessary. Now, if you hit the W key, you'll go forward. The A goes left, D goes right, S goes back. Hit the space bar to jump. You can move the mouse around, look up. But let's, uh, let's stop it here and come in and look at some of these parameters. So under this character controller, we've got all kinds of things we can do. We've got uh, scripts for, for the motion. We've got sensitivity. We've got a slope limit, which is how far we can climb up mountains. Uh, if something's too steep, it won't let us go. And you can set those parameters and set some of these other parameters. Um, not a lot here. There's actually more in the third person controller. And you can look at these on your own. You can explore and experiment. And, you know, that's what a lot of this is, is just poking around and seeing what things do that would take hours and hours to go through them and probably be pretty tedious and boring in a video. But, uh, but that's it for here, and we're going to stop now, and then in the next video, we'll take a look at that third-person controller.